Cancer Singles, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela and this video is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And this is your reading from today, March 14th until Wednesday, March 21st. Okay, so it looks like you have something new coming in, Cancer. Could be the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've got an offer coming your way. Could be a job offer and you're leaving behind past conflict or you could have been maybe resolving some inner conflict that you were having about a situation okay but a cycle hasn't quite ended you're there maybe you're transitioning okay you're transitioning out of some a situation into a new one but the cycle has not yet closed or if you're traveling, there could be travel delays. You got the full card here. This is also indicative of travel. It looks like you're wanting a new start. You, you're, you're looking into something new, it looks like. Looks like you came out of a situation that was in balance. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so everything may vary, including the details, including the outcome. Okay. And anything that I say in this reading can go vice versa. So feel free to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity if you happen to need it. Cancer singles. Okay, so you are going on a new adventure. Could be job related, but I'm definitely seeing love here. And then it could have something to do with a Capricorn. Okay, well, not good. It looks like someone was careless with your heart in the past or currently. Okay. You're feeling heartbroken. You're single though, so <laughs> could be past tense. Yeah, because you have someone coming in to express their love to you. So, you know, this person couldn't have hurt you if they just walked into your life. This is something past tense that you were dealing with. Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is past tense. Like I said, someone was careless with your heart in the past. And you're still dealing with the scars, right? This is like deep emotional wounds that you're dealing with from the past. And it looks like this is someone that you haven't communicated with. Both of you could have water in your chart. But right behind it is the Queen of Swords. So, okay, we got three people here. And we have three of swords. Three party situation, the devil, three people here. So this is someone that betrayed you in the past. You could have been married to this person or you could have been in a long-term relationship and there could have been someone that came in and infiltrated your relationship. It could be a mother, mother-in-law, mother figure. Cards aren't gender specific though. They could go vice versa. Okay, well then, and you got the full card too. Yeah, somebody was just playing around in your life. They didn't really have any business there because it, it seems like this person didn't know how to treat you at all. There was jealousy and it looks like you released yourself from this situation because it was full of trickery and drama. And you didn't have time for that. That's not what you showed up for the situation for. You didn't bargain for this. So that's probably why you're not speaking to this person. Yeah, you don't trust them. And, well, someone has a confession that they want to make to you. Cancer. I'm strongly feeling like it could be a Capricorn for some of you. Um, someone could be spying. And what I mean by spying is lurking on someone's social media page, talking to mutual friends to figure out what's going on with you. Um, I don't know, even, you know, resorting to creepy things like stalking you outside of your job. 
It's a general reading, okay? So that may not be the case for everyone, but some type of spying, lurking around, or gossip. So it looks like, okay, well, I wasn't expecting that, but here we go. Uh, okay, well, this could be how, how the person that's approaching you feel, that feels, right? Because I'm saying that someone is approaching you, Cancer. Or it could be you, because this person is holding a cup. It could be you, the water sign. Take a look at how they're looking at one another. So I'm feeling like you're not, you don't trust this person. And how could you trust this person because of, look at all of the drama. Look at all the foolery that happened in the past. Oh, along with the Three of Swords. You know, that's a lot. It's real extra. So that's why you don't trust this person at first glance. Or this person could be, this could be you, Cancer. You're a bit nervous about approaching the person that you love because you're realizing that they're going to have those trust issues with you right off the bat. You don't quite know what to say. I'm thinking that you're afraid that they're going to turn down your offer. It looks like you might be traveling to tell this person how you feel. Maybe you're feeling like it's worth the risk because um, you're feeling like it could be a victory for you. And you're feeling like maybe, just maybe if I tell them how I feel, this could be a fulfillment of my wishes and we could start again. So I'm saying that you had an on again, off again cycle with this person. There could have even been some conflict or some petty arguing or someone felt like they had to compete for their spot in this relationship because that easily could be the case. Right? Looks like things were not happy at home in the past. And you could have a family with this person or family like person, a family-like situation rather. Um, now, this doesn't have to be a third-party situation where there was actually like infidelity, right? I'm seeing three people. I'm seeing heartbreak. It could have been, it could have been um, the mother or father of your children. It could have been a mother-in-law, a sister, some type of um, female influence that was invading your relationship and causing a lot of drama. Somebody could have been sneaky too. Somebody could have been doing disappearing acts. So yeah, I'm feeling like you had this on again, off again cycle. This person will take their stuff and leave if you have an argument back and forth, back and forth. If this person was flighty in and out of your life, especially with the full card, this isn't someone that was willing to stick around. Now, this person is presenting themselves as, as a king of wands, a king. Not foolish, not a prankster. King of Wands, Aries Leo, Sagittarius. This is a go-getter. Someone that knows what they want and they go after it. And this could easily be in the work environment. You could be dealing with a whole bunch of jackals at your job that are all about drama and conflict. They always want to start something in the background while you're trying to get work done. And you don't trust your environment at work because you know that they're conniving behind your back. They're, they're backstabbers. So yeah, you're not talking to them. You don't communicate with these people because you spot the snake in the grass. You saw it a mile away. But this is you, possibly cancer. You know, you're a go-getter. You have your eye on something and you're going after it. People in your work environment, they're not supporting you. They're not working with you. They are, they're conspiring against you, and you recognize it. You may not have expressed it verbally, but um, yeah, you know what's going on. So you're out of there. You're not going to stick around. You could have a boss that's being very demanding of you. He doesn't want to um, understand or see things for what they really are. They just want you to get your work done. Clock in on time. 
Well, that's guaranteed. You're supposed to clock in on time. So if they were to say that, that's justified. But it looks like, here we go again, the Fool oh, with the Knight of Wands. Oh my gosh. You were dealing with somebody who, like I said, they were, they were just playing around in your life. They said one thing and did another. They were mentally conflicted. They didn't know what they wanted themselves. So how could they know what they want with you? But this is, they're not only showing up as the King of Wands, they're showing up as the King of Cups. Someone who's emotionally mature. Someone who knows what they want. Someone who's not afraid to express or admit when he's in love. Now this, in the past, graduating to a king from all of this uh, <laughs> drama is um, very positive. So this person has, has done some growing. And what they're coming with is something real. The Ace of Pentacles. Not the Page of Pentacles. Well, that would be a good start, though, possibly even. Because this person could have been very vain in the past, and now they're, come, they're humbling themselves to you as a child. So that would have been positive if they came to you still as a, as a Page of Pentacles. But they're coming to you as a king. Someone that has wisdom. They've, they've gone through things apart from you. And... Uh, they're approaching things differently than how they were in the past. You could have been dealing with this person when you were, you know, a young teenager because that's that's the impression I get from these cards. And this person has matured and they they're they're coming to you offering um maybe marriage. Look at that. You got the path here. Someone's ready to blaze a new trail with you. They want to um walk uh, the rest of the, you know be with you for the rest of their life lives for the long haul for others of you this is something regarding career is a career opportunity here a new career path right because like i said you have your eye on the prize there's something that you're looking out for you're tired of getting not getting paid what it is that you're worth and you're looking at something long term you're not looking to just work, you know, a job without the benefits, without the, the everything that you need to survive in this world. So you saw a better opportunity come along um, financially, work-wise. Okay, so there could have been like three people that were working against you, four that were working against you in the, in the work environment. Or this, because it's general, there could be four people that are working with you. They're, they're not necessarily four people, but this is like God putting helpful people in your path. People that are mature, they, 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 um, they're not playing games in your life, you know, as far as your career is concerned. This is supportive people playing a supportive role in your career. And it turns out to be a win-win situation for you. So yeah, you turn your back on the jackals at work. And you move forward and you don't look back. Let's see what's going on with love, though. Okay, so you have someone that's thinking about you, Cancer. This could have been someone who was too silly to realize what it is that they had in the past because this is a player. They play all day, you know? But now... They've developed these, this caring connection with you, and they've been thinking about you. You were unhappy without them because, I'm sorry, you're. this is someone that wants to be happy with you. But one of the biggest issues here is why you don't trust them is due to deceit. Look at that. This person lied to you all day long with the Fool card. You know what I mean? Deceit. They were all about games and drama in the past. And in the past, they just didn't know what they wanted. But now, they feel that they have what it takes to have a family. They're the king of pentacles, right? King of pentacles is someone who is firmly planted. Someone that's not easily, easily spooked when things go awry, right? They can withstand the storm that comes. 
they're not going to run like they may have in the past when things got tough. Some of you may be afraid to go beyond the gate or go beyond your comfort zone. Even though you have the key, right? She has it right around her neck to get through that gate. But someone is afraid to go through the comfort, get out of their comfort zone. But it looks like something was forcing you out of your comfort zone at work. Things just became so hectic and so overwhelming that you just decided right, another opportunity came along. You took it. It was so much better and you were very thankful for it. But yeah, there could be some type of travel. You could be traveling for work, traveling for, yeah, traveling for work. Because there's some type of a contract. There's contracts that you're, that you're handling. And it looks like there's going to be very um, heavy hitters that are going to help you in that process. Daddy. You know, to get those contracts handled and signed. Spirit, what do you have for Cancer, Singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Here we go. Let go of guilt. Don't be afraid. <laughs> what are you guilty for? Look at what you're leaving. This is excellent. Get away from these fools. Ten of swords. You don't deserve those ten swords in your back. Let go of guilt. Some of you, this is the person coming toward you that feels guilty. Because like I said, all they did in your life was play all day. And someone is letting to let go of guilt because guilt is a needless emotion. It's it's not to say that you know initially having guilty feelings, having remorse, that's healthy. But to hold on to that, Jenny, can you get the door? To hold on to that guilt and not eventually heal that guilt or work through it is useless because it doesn't do anything but turn into toxic emotions. So yeah, someone is trying to figure out deservingness. They don't feel like, someone maybe doesn't feel like they deserve this new opportunity, so they feel guilty. Or someone wants to feel deserving of your love again. So it looks like, Cancer, no more complaining, right? Because you got out of that atmosphere. So what's coming your way is a windfall of abundance. It says an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life, purpose, health, and charitable work. Okay, so there's a windfall of abundance coming your way. Let's see, what's, it's going to take listening to your intuition. You're also going into a new cycle with this card. And at the bottom of the deck, it's about cooperate, cooperation instead of competition, right? So you're dealing with a very competitive environment. You got out of that, right? You saw an opportunity, you went for it. And it paid off for you. So yeah, you are waving to those jackals as you drive off into the sunset you have made a wise investment for yourself you've turned your back on that situation so let's take a look at the advice card holy spirit show me what you have for cancer singles cancer singles see that you're you're entering a new cycle Cancer singles, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. It looks like, yeah, you, you still have some healing to do, Cancer, from past situations. Because I'm saying that there's trust issues. They could, they're justified, though, it looks like in the situation. Victory, but there's still a need for healing in that situation. It says, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Yeah, some of you are just so eager to get out of that situation with that job. Clear your space. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use feng shui. See, that's you clear, clearing away unnecessary clutter from your life. And it turns out to be a victory. Beneath that is all is well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hitting blessings, you will soon understand. Okay. So you may not quite understand the lesson with everything that has, you know, happened in the past. Maybe with a love situation. 
Some of you are clearing your space. You're saying no, no more to that. Others of you, you're open to hearing from, hearing this person out. And it could turn out to be a win-win situation for you. So that's what I have for you this week, Cancer Singles. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can do so by going directly to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. And you can also get a reading with me on the Instant Go app. Um, by text only. And keep in mind that um, please give me 24 hours at least to get back to you on the Instant Go app. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I will see you next week. Bye for now. Thank you.